So a few years ago, I attended the Agile Team Facilitator Training. Following the training, I was leading a piece of work that at the time was causing quite a bit of pain for a number of teams in my organization, but also for our customers, our end customers. And so as part of trying to resolve uh, that problem was uh, needing to bring in two of the core teams together to help resolve. And what was a little bit tricky was that those uh, teams had a bit of a history of not getting along. Basically, their, their behaviours were pretty dysfunctional uh, with each other and they didn't like being in the same room together. As part of preparing for that workshop, I used one of the techniques I learned in the training called the power start. Now, power is an acronym. So P stands for purpose. So having a clear why as to why we're meeting or what the workshop's about. O is for outcome. So being clear about what it is that we want to achieve. W is for what's in it for me from the participant's perspective, so making it relevant to participants. E is about engagement and how we're going to engage the participants uh, throughout the meeting. And R is for roles and responsibilities, so being really clear about the role and responsibilities that people have within the room, but also importantly, the majority of the participants. Are they active? Are they contributing? Are they? Uh, is it uh, or are they more passive? So what was great about this tool and technique meant that we were able to engage the participants very clearly in terms of the purpose and the outcomes. And during the workshop, actually, uh, when you could see some of those uh, old frustrations with each other just start to bubble, I was able to recognize that also a little bit faster because one of the things uh, that we learned in the training was around spotting dysfunctional behaviors, but also I was able to very clearly reset the room around the purpose and the outcomes and sort of park anything else so that we could um, focus on collaborating and working together to get a great result. At the end of the session, they all spontaneously burst into a round of applause, which was quite unexpected uh, leading into the session. But those very simple, uh, that very simple technique that I'd learned had not only built uh, my own capability, so it built the capability of the individual, but also it built the capability of my organisation. So through the use of these tools and techniques that we learned on the training and actually bringing together two teams that at the end of the day were actually really keen to collaborate with each other, even if this at the start of the day they weren't, it meant that not only were we able to resolve things for these uh, for these teams includes some quite key pain points but it meant that actually we were able to really focus on our customer and get a great result for our customer who's the real winner on the day.